Hello everybody, today is September 1st and you know what that means. It is the opening night of Halloween Horror Nights 2023 in its 32nd year here at Universal Orlando Resort. Tonight I am going to be able to take you with us inside all 10 houses, 5 scare zones. We're going to soak the event in. Normally you are not permitted to take photographs or film inside the houses, but tonight we're part of a special event, so we are going to be able to do just that. So I hope you are ready. We're going to check in for the event. There's going to be a little bit of a ceremony, a little opening ceremony, and then we are going to get right to it. We're going to let you know what we think of the houses and you know, you'll be able to see for yourself what you think of them because you're coming with us. So let's go. It wouldn't be opening night if there wasn't just a little bit of rain, just a little sprinkle just to start the night on the right vibe. And here are the opening night crowds waiting to get in. The excitement is in the air. I don't know, are they waving at us? Maybe. And Stay and Scream is starting to be a let into the houses early. Wow. My first snack of the night is the African Lentil and Potato Sambusa Coffin. This is something that they had last year that was my go-to during Stay and Scream. It's really tasty. It's got a little bit of kick of spice, but it's very self-contained, like a delicious pastry, warm, and highly recommend. Yummy, yum. We're getting to try the Dr. Evil's Carn Evil Dog. This is a red hot dog in a Funfetti hot dog bun, Kool-Aid pickles, bubblegum mustard, and potato sticks. Very curious mix of flavors, so let's see what it's like. <laughs> you know what? It's actually really good, legitimately. You know the mix of sweet and savory, how it goes together sometimes? Also, I can taste like relish in there. So it just basically tastes like a relish hot dog with like a little bit of sweet in it. It, it works. Uh, you know what? I say for a late night, this will be really tasty. It's better than you would think based on how it's described. Oh, you know what? What I thought was relish is a pickle actually. I love pickles. So I don't know, it tastes really good. It's just basically like sweet bread, a nice hot dog, uh, some like potato sticks, nice pickle. I don't know, I like it. We both like it. So I just tried the infamous Dr. Oddfellow hot dog. Yeah. Bug them, relish, all kinds of weird stuff. It's delicious. It is, right? It's really nice. Yeah, I feel like we'll be getting that during the event. Yeah, like I just talk about a bubblegum hot dog. I'm yeah, ready. yeah, the bubblegum's like a faint flavor yeah. in there, but it's, it's like nice. It's aftertaste kind of. Yeah. But it works together, it's not too sweet. I yeah. thought. Agree. Like it's not really sweet at all. Yeah, awesome, we did it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. someone and then they'll take it to their boss and they'll take it to their boss and someone will start a conversation and maybe it will happen. I didn't uh, believe that within 24 hours Mike DM'd me and it was like, dude, this would be so cool. Let's do this thing. And I was like, F yeah, can I drop that phone? I won't drop that phone. Uh, F yeah, let's do this. And we hit the ground running pretty fast. Like less, less than two years ago, we had that conversation and the house is open tonight. Yes. You desire fear. Good. You want to feel its power. You long for immortality. I don't for all of that and more. For a grand price of lords. What does it take to be amongst my collection of souls? Why, your very soul is deep. <laughs> I'm a fair price to that hard fellow, don't you think? Your destiny awaits. As this horror night begins. <laughs> Well, that was so fun and a great way to kick off the night. Dr. Oddfellow himself, who we will see presiding over and involved in all of the scare zones, several of the houses. This year's very connected with the lore and story. It's very interesting. And we are gonna get started soon and start doing houses. You ready? So, so ready. <laughs> And we're 
in the fog. We're in Dr. Oddfellow's collection scare zone right now. Some amazing characters walking around. That is quite a collection of horror. Now we're heading into dark zodiac scare zone where each of the zodiac signs are twisted into some monstrous stuff. Also, Monday. There are chainsaws in here. All right, we're following our tour guide right now on an RIP tour. Like they're even still looking at us now. <laughs> and even though Mel's is closed for this event, it is lit up. The next scare zone we're heading into is Jungle of Doom Expedition Terror. <gasps> Lead the way, Jackie. Lead the way. Oh. And there is the plane wreck. Looks amazing. Look at all the like bats in the trees. This is a really fog heavy dark scare zone. Totally. Where are the bats? Oh, look at the bats. But Red eyes, they look amazing. And of course, we got the spider from Bug's house last year. I put a picture of it in a video recently to show you. It's the same one. Now, I like the music. I like all the sounds in here and how dark it is. We're walking through Springfield, USA, the Simpsons area of the park. Uh, there's nothing going on in here, but there is Dufftober, the special seasonal beer that they have during Halloween Horror Nights, it's back. This year, I don't know whether Stranger Things or Last of Us is going to be the most popular house, but judging by this, I mean, this looks pretty, pretty popular. Jackie, ready for house number one? I am so hyped for this to see the clickers, the bloaters, the stalkers, Joel and Ellie, Pittsburgh scene. I can already hear the music and I am just... I can't believe we're going to one of my most hyped first. Yeah, me neither. First house of the night, The Last of Us. So excited. Stay down! 
Next up, we are doing Universal Monsters Unmasked. I always love my Universal Monsters houses, so very excited for this one. This is probably my most anticipated house because I love Universal Monsters, and this one features Phantom of the Opera, who's kind of my favorite, And uh, but in his really scary form. Like, he is not wearing a mask. Not only is he not wearing a mask, he's trying to use you as his mask. That's gonna be you. He is looking to use us as his mask. Or here we go. You are a fool, little constable. A fool. <laughs> Incidents of violence have occurred throughout the city the past few nights. Please, clear the streets. A silver curtain is in place. And we'll get it to last until the assailants are happily ended. <laughs> Oh my 
my fingers around your feet. Yes. Yes. Strangulation at 85 minutes but we are going somewhere else next up we're gonna do darkest deal where the musician pine straw spruce I think I'm saying his name right makes a deal with the collector you can hear his music he wants to he wants to be a successful musician he makes a deal and we're gonna go through his career with him and I feel like he is gonna just make us part of the deal somehow I'm not gonna make the darkest deal, but typical lead guitarist, he's making the deal for us, and he put all our souls on the line too. Rude? We're gonna get out. I don't know if we can get out of this. We're gonna try though. Cool vibe, right? Dear mom, I changed my name in the face of the musician. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> 
I actually loved that. That was incredible. The scenes were so good. The scares were really good. There were a lot of like startles. The creatures were amazing. It was really cool seeing Pine Straw go through his career. We'll talk about it in a minute though, because the next house is now. We're actually going in through the back entrance because of an RIP tour. Uh, but I can already hear all the circus sounds and like. And we witness Dr. Oddfellow's striking The scenes with Pine Straw up on stage and the scene where his soul gets taken by the collector and then you go into the collector's world. All the different scenes were amazing. Really good scares and sets and very, very cool. And then we went straight into Dr. Oddfellows which was so, so good. So we love that dark carnival theme. We're just completely, we love it. So we walked in kind of knowing we were probably gonna like it but I thought it far exceeded my expectations. I thought it was wonderful. The sets, the scares, the scare actors were so, so good. Seeing that silhouette of Jack getting stuffed into the box, amazing, so good. Dr. Oddfellow, just an amazing character, an amazing icon. He looks so 
good and the acting and the scenes that draw you in it felt like a show it felt very theatrical and a lot of good scares in there too i think that's kind of my favorite of the night so far but we have six more houses to go look hhn 32 on the mib building looks awesome the park looks amazing the vibe of halloween horror nights is just unmatched. We're passing through the London part of the park which usually isn't touched by anything Halloween Horror Nights but this year there are Death Eaters inside Diagon Alley. This is cool and new for this year the Peacock Halloween Horror Bar and we've heard that David S. Pumpkins hangs around these parts so we're gonna see. I don't know if he's out right now. Oh this looks so cool though. The Purge is back at Halloween Horror Nights! That bar looks really cool and we're definitely going to be back to hang out there. I like that they have different photo ops. There was a Purge scare actor, which was really cool. David S. Pumpkins was not out. So my questions for him are going to have to wait because I have many preguntas for David S. Pumpkins. Okay, okay. But very fun photo op. It looks really cool. It's all lit up. Amazing. Oh, up oh, next stop. Let's go. We're going to walk through Shipyard 32. Horrors. Unleashed. Chucky to be hilarious, 
really, really funny, so I'm expecting maybe a funny house, but we'll see. The theme that they came up with is so clever, and it is that it's sort of like breaking the fourth wall. They made a house, and Chucky himself came to see it, wasn't happy that there weren't real kills in it, and decided to kill everyone. Chucky ultimate kill count, here we go. And this house is located in the queue for Fast and Furious, where the Blum House was last year. The Blum House house. House, house. And here we go.
That was really, really cool. And it's like an unannounced Megan Horde. Like it's not on the website, it's not announced anywhere. There's no times listed anywhere, at least as of now. They just pop up in different spots throughout the park, do a dance, and then they said guests could line up to take photos with them after. So that, I loved it. That was fantastic. Definitely keep your eye out for it if you're in the park during Halloween Horde Nights. Well, we're now headed back to the sound stages where we have five more houses to do all in a row. It's about to be house bam, 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 one after another. Always love seeing Rip Ride Rocket go by. <laughs> We're going into the Rocky Mountains to a campsite. thy fate. We are hyped for this house. Here we are. She transformed into the enchanted home. I entreat thee to aid our peaceful kingdom. But at this moment, the dark and greedy powers of fire and ice assemble their opposing arms. No Wow! It looks amazing, Sam! Amazing! Amazing! Everybody's walking to the chance, no? Your place is out of the way. While the war, now go! Has been 
this is the only one I'm like a little nervous and scared for. Because <laughs> the original film is terrifying. It's a little scary. Yeah, so we'll see. Back to the sound stage as we go. Expel! Expel demon! I hear people like it smells. It smells awful. <laughs>
expect him right off the bat. Right off the bat. I did not expect him to yeah. swipe at me right off the yeah. bat. I was like, okay, back now already. <laughs> I really like the Metallica scene yeah. with Eddie. And that was cool. I liked when like Eleven and One were going at each other on yeah. either side of you, and you're like walking in that tunnel, and they're like yeah. on one side of you and the other. That was really cool. There's a lot going on on both sides yeah. of you in that house. Yeah. Because uh, it was like this, so sorry, if, you know, whatever, I don't know, but, you know. Uh, so what, do you, what was your favorite of the night? Oh, it's tough this year. It is tough. It is tough. Off the top of my head, I would choose, I mean, Oddfellow, Oddfellow. Jewel and Dragons, yeah. Last of Us, Monsters, yeah. Exorcist. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dark is Steel, Dark really, is good. Steel really good. Dark really good, yeah. Nothing was not good, Nothing. everything was good. Yeah. Uh, a very a year full of variety. I feel like a lot of variety, lot of variety. and like the types of scares, the types of sets and props and costumes, the types of stories being yeah. told. Yeah, good, yeah. good, very yeah. good. I, very good. I know that I'm excited if I can't wait to go back through them. Yeah. And there's not one this year. I'm not looking forward to going back for again. Me too. Same. Yeah. Amazing. Wow. Okay, let's make our way to All the right. park. <laughs> Dr. Oddfellow's <laughs> out. And there he goes. Bye. He survived. He didn't, he didn't get our soul. Soul intact. And off we go. I like the vibe. I do like the vibe too. I like the music. Well, that was an incredible night, opening night of Halloween Horror Nights 2023 at Universal Orlando. 32 years of fears <laughs> here at Universal Studios Florida. I'd say it was a solid, solid night. Everything was great. Uh, I did, we didn't dislike any of the houses. We enjoyed all of them, but they're definitely our favorites. Dueling Dragons, Oddfellow. Uh, Exorcist was really good, actually. Uh, scary and good, Stranger Things. Uh, Last of Us, Monsters, a lot of great houses definitely this year and great scare zones. Uh, the monsters, the creatures, looks great. Love that the Dr. Oddfellow story ties it all together. He is, you know, trying to get the power of everyone's souls so that he can live forever and have all the power and how he created Jack the Clown. I love the variety of stories being told, the mix of intellectual properties and original stories in the houses, the scare zones, great stories too. I think it's a really good storytelling year and uh, a great music, great atmosphere, great vibe, great food, great drinks, great everything. We love Halloween Horror Nights. We're huge fans of the event and I think that we were hyped for this year and hoping that it would be amazing and I think it's amazing. I really, really do. So we'll be back to visit a lot. We have the frequent fear pass, so we, every year, will come out, do a video of opening night, and then come back a bunch just to hang out for ourselves and have fun and enjoy the event. And then I might do more videos of the event while it's going on to show you like Stay and Scream and how that all works. And we'll show you Dead Coconut Club too, a club in City Walk that's themed for Halloween Horror Nights. We went in tonight and it looked really, really cool and I'll include that in another video. If you wanna see a full tour of the Halloween Horror Nights tribute store this year, that's the video before this one. But for now, we are gonna head home because it has been a long, long night. So let me know what your favorite house was, what your favorite scare zone characters and things you're most excited for. And thank you so much for hanging out with us, sending you a ton of love. See you for the next video. And until then, as always, Stay spooky and stay enthused. Bye.